Hey honeys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shanae and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I achieved this cute Y2K natural hairstyle with these shiny bumps and ponytails. So continue watching. Okay guys, so jumping straight into this tutorial, my hair was already blow dried. Um, I was trying to do a little intro, but let's grab that. Um, I found this hairstyle on Pinterest. It was a little Y2K hairstyle, so I decided I was gonna try it out. So first things first, I'm gonna make a part from ear to ear because we're gonna have a ponytail at the back and I'm gonna do those cute um, shiny bums slash top knot buns in the front. So we're gonna section out the hair. Then I'm gonna put away the back and work with the front section first. So there was a bang that I parted out. So I just made a little U parting at the front of my hair. And I'm going to put that section away. And then there was basically five sections. So there's one section in the middle and then there's two smaller sections on each side. So I like to go in with my middle part to make sure that it is even. So I make one parting on one side and then another parting on the opposite side. It just makes it a lot easier for me. So then I go in with my ebon edge control and I'm just going to slick my sections down with the edge control. I'm just gonna place it all over, comb it through with my tail comb and then use a small black elastic band to put it in a ponytail. And this is how I'm going to slick up all five sections. Now for the parting at the side, I am going to make a diagonal parting. It makes the section look more like a triangle in the middle. So once I've done that, I'm gonna go back ahead, apply the edge control, comb it through, and put the rubber band in. Now for the section at the side, I am going to just take out some of my sideburns and then slick up that last section. And the same thing I did on this side is the same thing I'm going to be doing on the opposite side. So this is how the sections are looking once I've added all the elastic bands and sectioned them out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the little buns, the 
shiny bumps, <laughs> the top knot buttons. So what I'm doing is just twirling my hair and then just twisting it into a bun. I did leave out some strands as you've seen that I flat ironed. So I'm going to just twirl my hair and once the hair is a bit short enough, I'm going to just take out a small piece like you see and then continue twirling the hair around. In some of the sections, I took out two pieces. In some of the sections, I took out only one piece. But it's all up to you. You don't even have to leave out the pieces if you don't want to. But I was just trying to try out this hairstyle that I seen. So I'm going to do the same thing for each of the sections. Twirl it, twirl it, twirl it. And when you reach to the end, you're just going to continue wrapping it until there is no more hair left. All right, so now that I basically showed you guys how I achieved those buns, I'm gonna go ahead and do my bang. So I did make a little slanted parting for my bang. And my hair was pretty long, so I actually changed it at the ending, but we're gonna go with this for now. I went in with my wax stick to just lay it down flat and in place. And then I went in with my flat iron and straightened it. So once I finish straightening my bang, I'm gonna go ahead and use my small mini flat iron and just straighten out these small pieces and also just give it a little bump, kind of curl it at the end a bit. So once I'm done with the front, I'm gonna go ahead and work with the back section. So I just took out the ponytail and now I'm just combing it to exactly where I want my ponytail to sit. And once I've done that, I'm gonna go in with my hair tie and put it in one. Next, I'm going in with my Clear Eco Styling Gel and I'm just going to spread that all around my ponytail. That way it is nice and sleek. If you have hair that will revert when you put gel on your hair, I suggest going in with a holding spray like Got To Be Free Spray or even the Ebon Adhesive Spray. Now I'm just combing through my ponytail and I'm just going to remove my band and put it back that way it is nice, smooth, sleek, tight, in the right position. So 
So because my hair was not flat ironed and my bangs flat ironed, the little pieces are ironed, I'm just gonna go ahead and do some big sections and just flat iron my ponytail. And to make the ponytail look even more sleek, like I have a piece on, I am going to take a small piece of my hair at the back of the ponytail and just wrap it around so it looks like I did a nice, neat, cute ponytail. That way you don't even see the hair tie or anything like that. It just brings it all together. And then I'm going to be doing my sideburns because I did leave out here at the side. So I'm going to curl them and then use my edge control and style it. Once my sideburns are styled, this is how the style is looking. I really like this hairstyle, it was definitely different. My only problem was that my bangs were too long. So I decided to make it into a swoop, which is what you'll see me do right now. So I just combed my hair all to one side and put it behind my ear. just like that and then I didn't like the piece hanging down like that so I went in with my flat iron and I just curled that end a bit and I liked it this way much better because it wasn't getting messed up because of the length so yeah you guys can do either or you don't even have to do a bang for this hairstyle but I liked it this way better. So then I just went in with my Paul Mitchell Shine Spray and I love spraying this once I'm done my hair. It just gives it a nice gloss. So this was the final result for my hairstyle. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Guys, I'm trying to bring you the quick, easy, simple hairstyles and I'm trying to bring some more natural hairstyles to my channel as well because I know a lot of people are like, why are you wearing weave all the time? So I'm just showing you guys, I do try different things with my hair as well. But if you have made it this far and you are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned because I have videos coming every week. So make sure you hit that post notification bell as well. Comment down below, let me know the different hairstyles you would like to see me achieve. And yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.